Uh, okay, so NBC has banned workplace hugging and sharing of cab rides to curb sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. NBC has taken the odd step of cracking down on hugging and imploring its employees to tattle on each other uh, punishment uh, under punishment of termination. Two drastic measures done in the wake of the Matt Lauer sexual harassment scandal. NBC has been accused of helping to cover up the Weinstein scandal by suppressing a report by Ronan Farrow on the disgraced movie producer. So they held back information or held it. I think he had to go, he worked for NBC and had to go to another network to have it, that story run based on all the interviews he did because NBC refused to do it. In November, Matt Lauer was accused of sexual abuse by a former NBC intern. The network found his actions to be a clear violation of its workplace policies following an investigation. Page Six reported this week that NBC employees have been ordered to report any inappropriate relations in the workplace, and if they fail to do so, they would, could be fired for covering up for colleagues. Additionally, the company's newly implemented draconian anti-harassment policies stipulate that employees who wish to hug each other will have to do a quick hug, then an immediate release, <laughs> and step away to avoid body contact, according to a source. <laughs> These interactions are just going to look like a middle school dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Employees are also banned from sharing cabs or even taking vegans to steakhouses. It's unclear what that specific incident <laughs> may have brought about this later, that latter rule. So here's how I responded to that story. Mm -hmm. Isn't it interesting? Oh, yeah. The that, MP rule. Yeah. That <laughs> NBC which is one of the media sources that excoriated mm -hmm. VP Mike Pence, along with many other media outlets and all these people on the left, before the Me Too stuff, who had a rule that he will not be in a room alone with a female, uh, unless, uh, other than his wife, obviously, right? Yep. He was torn apart for that mentality. Mm -hmm. Then all this Me Too stuff happened. Yeah. Right? Now NBC is saying, you're not allowed to be alone in a room. Right? Yeah. No touchy, no touchy. Isn't it, <laughs> isn't it interesting? Yeah. That, and on top of that, guess who wasn't uh, accused in the whole Me Too scandal? Mike Pence. Yep. He's How got the an tables alibi. have turned. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it funny? You know, and it's, <laughs> it's just unbelievable to me because we have... I've noticed something in the past couple of weeks. Since the 60s, mm -hmm. we have had this mentality from people on the left of a sexual revolution. Yeah. Right? Where people uh, of a liberal mentality are saying, like, they, they, they lambast Christians and people on the right for holding sexual relations as a sacred thing for marriage. Right? Yeah. That's stupid. It's ridiculous. Abstinence only education mm -hmm. is horrible because people are going to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. And they, they just go against those types of people all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's this whole sexual revolution thing. Sex isn't a big deal. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're being told. Sleep with whoever you want. Sleep as many, uh, sleep around as many times as you want. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not a sacred thing between people and slash robots. Yeah. <laughs> In Tokyo robots, uh, that it's not supposed to be something special for yeah. people. You know, this is just have fun, have fun with your bodies, yeah. explore your bodies, explore mm -hmm. other people's of bodies. Uh, and and you have this mentality, right? Mm -hmm. And then they're surprised when people in Hollywood, Harvey Weinstein being one of them, is using sexual favors as blackmail over people to get parts. Yep. Right? So now there's this whole Me Too campaign and everything where, whoa, whoa, sex isn't supposed to, is is something sacred because it's your body. Now yeah. it's not explore your body and other people's bodies. Now it's my body. Yeah. Right? And now it is something. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that it never was because I'm of the mentality that Hey, I'm on. I'm on the side of the Me Too people, the actual victims, not the ones that are falsely yeah, accusing. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know who those people are. I can't separate them. Yeah. But in voicing the opinion, I'm on mm -hmm. the side of the victims. But when you oversexualize a society into saying that sex doesn't matter anymore, and then you're shocked 
when people use sex the way that they are to to as leverage over another person mm-hmm. you've set yourself up for this disaster yep you have, you have become the the movement that led to the new movement which is the reverse course of it yep and then they're shocked when when people like Mike Pence don't want to be in the room with, uh, alone with another woman. Like mm-hmm. that's horrible. Yeah. Until a Me Too campaign comes out, yeah. and it's like, ah, crap. Maybe that guy was right. Yeah. And it, it, I mean, I, I can't believe he got that much flack for that anyway, because it makes sense if you're in a position of power or position, whether politically, entertainment-wise, uh, corporately, or whatever, to know that like accusations, false accusations are made, I'm just going to protect myself from that entirely. Yeah. You know? Like, you know, so... Oh, it's a pretty easy discussion. I mean, the reason why they did it is they just want to hate him for whatever they can. Yep. The news story broke that he he has this rule. It was probably a very simple thing put into the interview. Something, an interesting fact that the reporter found was interesting. Yeah. And then people just tried to make mountains of molehills on things. Oh, yeah. Just because they could. 